Good afternoon. Could you share with me some of your visions on what's going on here today, the discussions? Well, it's a lively discussion. I'm pleased to hear that environment is featured to some extent, although still really on the margins of the discussion about how to manage our future water. And I think that it's necessary that uh, environment and ecosystem health is brought more central into the debate. And this is because it's not really just about taking care of the environment whilst we invest in, in wash, for example, wash infrastructure, or in providing more water for agriculture. Because unless uh, ecosystems are in good health, there will be no water to provide to people or for future food. So therefore, uh, ecosystem health restoring the state of our environment, the forests and the wetlands in particular, should be seen more as a fundamental shift, fundamental basis for developing our water in the future and meeting development goals. And in particular, uh, there's a lot of talk about the need for water infrastructure to, to help people and their different needs. This is true, but uh, actually ecosystems are natural infrastructure, well adapted to changing environment. And I would like to see the discussion turn towards a mix of man-made or grey infrastructure and green infrastructure, which is natural uh, infrastructure ecosystems. And actually the combination of grey and green solutions that will bring about a more sustainable way to manage our water in the future. Um, can, you, can you give some other examples on, uh, uh, on these ideas and how we can uh, integrate this more? Well, for example, there is a need to improve water retention to capture water in the landscape. Wetlands are the natural solution for that. So actually just safeguarding, restoring even small wetlands in the right places in a catchment river basin can make a big difference. Equally, um, there's been very little mention about the fact that most of the world's poor, poor actually live in or around wetlands of some kind. And so the best thing you can do for them at the moment to safeguard uh, the water for them is to safeguard those rivers, lakes, floodplain systems on which they depend. So these are natural water infrastructures that uh, really need to be valued and brought into the future decisions more strongly. Thank you so much for this interview.